praise. Lord have mercy. I feel joy rising, B. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, sign your rhythm, church. Da, 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 da. Let's go. Uh, uh. Woo! A little more, keep on, and I'll be leaving you alone. Keep it going. Let's go. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, your word is to be praised. You get the glory, hallelujah. Hallelujah, your word is to be praised. Hallelujah, hallelujah. your word, your word is to be praised. One more time, say, come on, hallelujah. Hallelujah, Woo! your word is to be praised. Hallelujah, hallelujah. your word is come on. to be praised. I lift my, let's do it, I lift my hand. I lift my hand. I pray. Heads. Come on. I bow my head. I honor. I honor you, Lord. As one big family. I lift my head. I pray. I praise you, Lord. We bow my heads, Lord. I bow my head. I honor. I honor you, Come on. Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your word is to be praised. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The more that try. Your word is Glory, 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 hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, your word is to be praised. You get the glory. Hallelujah, your word is to be praised. Come on. I lift my hands. Come on, turn the clock. I lift my hands. I pray. I praise you, Lord. We bow our heads, Lord. I bow my head. I honor. I honor you, Lord. I lift my hands. I lift my hands. Good. I praise you, Lord. We bow our heads to the beat. I bow my head. I honor. I honor you, Lord. I lift my hand. I lift my head. I pray. I praise you, Lord. We bow our heads. I bow my head. I honor. I honor you, Lord. I lift my hands. I lift my head. We pray. I praise you, Lord. We bow our heads, Lord. I bow my head. Take a prayer. 
Let's go. Let's go. Come on, make some rhythm with your hands, church. I want to hit that loop with these hands, bro. Thanks. Let me hear you. Let's go. Let me hit those hands. Let's go. Make some rhythm with your hands. Come on, church. Woo. Let's go, y'all. Oh, hallelujah. Lord, hallelujah. What just one big one? Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. I got a reason, church. I got old reasons and I got new reasons. Hallelujah. I got old reasons, but I got new reasons to praise his name. I got old reasons. 99, 97, 2012, but I got, oh Lord Jesus, but I got new reasons. I got old reasons, 94, 92, 99, 2011, 2014, but I got new reasons to praise his name. Oh Lord have mercy. I lift my hands, I praise you, Lord. I bow my head, I honor you, Lord. Ooh. I lift my hands, Ooh. I praise you, Lord. Ooh. I bow my head, I honor you. Just because I can, I lift my hands. Woo. I praise you, Lord. Just because I can, I bow my head, my body. Woo. That's the posture of worship. I'm broken before you. I honor you, Lord. One more time. I lift my hands. That's an act of response. I praise you, Lord, but I remember who's my king. So I bow my head in a broken posture. I honor you, Lord. Now on your own, come on, hands high. Begin to talk to your father on your own. Come on. Woo. We're just your spiritual midwife. We want to lead you to that place, but now you got it on your own. Come on, you got it by yourself now. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. come on, you got it by yourself now. Woo. It was just our job to kind of get you to the water. Now that you're there, come on, take a drink. Oh, 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 oh. We've done our job. <laughs> we got you kind of there. But come on, now you lead yourself the way. Come on. Glory, glory, glory. That's Roby. He's amazing this morning. Woo. He's amazing this morning. Woo. He's amazing. Woo. He's amazing. Woo. You're amazing. Hey, 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 Lord, you're amazing. Woo. Woo. Come on, play it again, B. Yeah, Come on, I got the call, you got the response. Come on. Come on. It's so amazing. It's so amazing. Your love for me. Your love for me. You got it. It's so amazing. It's so amazing. Your sacrifice. Your sacrifice. For me. For me. Come on. For every blessing. For every blessing. Give unto me. You got it. Give unto me. Hey. For every valley, for every you, you, come on, you used to stretch, come on, 
I don't deserve, come on. I don't deserve your, your tender mercy, come on. If not for your grace, if not for your grace, where would I be? I think you got the sun now. Come on, right here. Something says, come on. It's so amazing. Your turn. Come on. It's so amazing. Come on, church. Your love for me. Your love for me. It's so amazing. It's so amazing. Your sacrifice. Your sacrifice. For me, for me, and for every blessing, for Woo! Every blessing you've given to me, come on, me. Hey, for every valley, for every valley you use, you use to share. Find me, come on, I don't deserve, I don't deserve no, your tender mercy. If not for your grace, if not, for let's roll. Grace, I, so we say, I stand amazed. That's good. I stand amazed at your glory. I stand amazed at your I stand amazed at your I stand amazed. I stand amazed at your power. So amazing. So amazing. Amazing. Come on. I stand amazed. I stand amazed at your glory. I stand amazed at your strength. I stand amazed at your strength. I stand amazed at your power. Hey. So amazing. So amazing. Amazing. I stand amazed. I stand amazed at your All the ways that you made, Lord. I stand amazed at your strength. How you healed my body this year. I stand amazed at your So amazing. Amazing. I stand amazed at your I stand amazed at your glory. Stand amazed at your strength. I stand amazed at your strength. I stand amazed at your power. I stand amazed at your power. So amazed, come on. So I'm gonna come on. So, so, so hey. amazing. 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 We cry so. so Amazing, so, so, hey, amazing, so amazing, so amazing, so amazing, amazing, let's go, so we see, so amazing, 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 come on, so, so amazing, amazing. You take him out. Think about his amazing love this morning. Ooh. Hey, so amazing. <laughs> Come on, take a moment. So amazing. I hear this song, gotta find it. Come on. So amazing. I gotta find it. Hey. So amazing. I hear this song in the Holy Ghost. Let me find it. Hey, so amazing. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, there it is. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. Yeah. 
Let me just sing this over somebody's spirit right here to one of your head. Indescribable, uncontainable, you place the stars in the sky. Know them by name. You are amazing, God. Yeah. Yeah. All powerful, untamable, all struck, we fall to our knees, humbly proclaim. Ooh. You are amazing, God. Let's go, y'all. So, so. You place the stars in the sky. Know them by name. Hey, you are amazing, God. Woo. All powerful, untamable. All struck, we fall to our knees. Woo. And we humbly proclaim, You are amazing, God. Let's go, y'all. One more time. So. Somebody clap your hands for an amazing God, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Oh. Lord Jesus. Oh my God. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. What an amazing God you are. Ooh. Just think about that word amazing. Just can't let that word go. Amazing. <laughs> oh, amazing. Oh, so oh, amazing. Come on. Uh, that's it. Come on. I feel faith rising now. So oh, come on, choir. Amazing. I feel faith rising. Come on, um, so, so, I feel faith rising in your situation. Come on, amazing. You got a different view now. Amazing, so amazing that these light afflictions cannot be compared to the glory that will be revealed in us through us. Come on, amazing, so. That's it. Come on. Amazing, amazing, so oh, amazing. This offertory declaration will uh, change. It's going to flex as God moves throughout. So um, the offertory declaration is this. Let's read it together. God. This year, I want more from you, so I will give you more of me. I am going deeper this year and celebrate new life, 20 years of changing life. Can we pause there? Can you give God glory for 20 years? Come on, do better than that. 20 years of changing lives. 20 years of changing lives. And there's a great celebration that we have laid out for you. And I want you to know this now. It's going to be awesome. I will live by the spirit and not gravify the desires of my flesh. I will not be in my feelings. I will walk by faith, not by sight in every area of my life 
to include my tithe, talent, and treasure. In Jesus' name, amen. Come on and let's get amen. ready to give Elder Wells, please. Amen, amen. Come on, put your hands together for this brand new offertory declaration. Somebody say it's offering time. And God loves a cheerful giver, doesn't he? Yeah. Just nudge your neighbor. Say, smile when you give. Smile when you give. Come on, smile when you give. Don't get mad. Amen. It is offering time. Amen. It is time for us to advance the kingdom of God in the earth by way of our finances. Amen. This is good ground. New Life is doing the kingdom, God's business in the earth, all the way in Africa, all the way, all over the world. New Life in Christ Church is advancing the kingdom of God in the earth. And I found out that when you sow seeds to advance the kingdom, God opens up doors. He makes provision for you to make provision for it in the kingdom of God. Amen? Hallelujah. Tell the Lord thank you. So we want to sow our best seed. We want to give our best offering. We cannot expect the same thing, doing the same thing we did in 2022. Amen. That's insanity. So we got to give different. Amen. I want to challenge each and every one of you to dig deeper, to give more, to tithe more. If you want your increase to be increased, you got to give an increase. Amen. Tell the Lord, thank you. I, if y'all remember, I, I, I asked the Lord, what do you want me to give? You remember that some time ago? And the Lord told me to give X amount of dollars. I won't, I won't get into it. But ever since I obeyed God, he's just blown my mind. Just blown my mind. Amen. And I said, Lord, if you bless me, this is what I, I'm going to sow this seed into this church and he did. in this good ground. And he did. If you do that for me, I'll do that. I began to make vows unto God and I began to keep my vows and be committed to what I said I was going to do. And God kept his word with me. Oh, my goodness. Just look at your neighbor. I'm going to start sowing seed. Come on. So that God can advance the kingdom in the earth through me. In the name of Jesus, believe me, if you do it, God will bring increase, financial increase into your life. And he will rebuke the devourer. So tithe so that you will give God an opportunity to rebuke the devourer in your life. Amen? Amen? Tell the Lord, thank you. As you know that there are many ways that we can give. As you can see on the screen, there are many ways that we can give. Amen. You can put it in the mail. You can do it online. Amen. You, and now, those of you that are going to be giving um, online via Cash App, make sure you put all of your information in it, your address, so that we can know exactly who is giving. Your name. Put your name on there in, the, in those blocks. Amen. And through all of the, the giving links, we want you to be able to put also put it in the chat area. Who's giving it and what? And amen. Tell the Lord thank you. So it is offering time. We want you to give your best gift because we want an increase from the Lord. Amen. And we want to advance the kingdom of God in the earth in 2023. Better than what we did in 2022. Amen. So every head bow, every eye closed. Now, God, our Father, we thank you. We praise your name. We lift you up right now, God. We pray and ask, oh God, first we want to tell you thank you for a brand new year, a brand new opportunity, oh God, to, to sow seed, to give, oh God, so that you may have an opportunity to bless us financially, oh God. We pray and ask that you would let no one suffer for what they shall give on today, but return it back unto us, some 30, some 60, and some 100 fold. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Amen. And amen. To our bishop, to our first lady, amen. I want to thank them for allowing us to be here to kick off our Wednesday night revival service. We thank God for all of you. And certainly we thank God and honor and respect our bishop and the work that he's done. Listen, Bishop has said that we are, 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 are to, to, to really focus in as a congregation 
on going deeper. 2023, we're life changers, and we are going deeper. So tonight, I want to bring our focus in on a couple of things. I was recently deciding which Bible I would use to study this year in 2023. This is something that I typically do. I go through the Bibles I want to study from, and it doesn't matter which translation or transliteration. I just like to have a different Bible each year to study for. And there's a variety of them that I've used. But this year, while thumbing through the Bibles, I, my attention was drawn to my mother-in-law personal Bible. And interestingly enough, as probably many of you, she had a history, the family history documented in the Bible. She had her prayers. She had everybody's birthday. She had important dates that were been established in our family. She had things that she considered to want to talk about. Her prayers, her old bills, and I just assumed that those were bills that she had said, God, you got to help me with. She had personal concerns and she had affirmations and she went on so on and so on and so on. She even had hidden secrets as though that she was talking to a personal friend and she had them stuffed away, hidden in the Bible. Without a doubt, that's the Bible I'm going to use this year. That Bible has a lot to say about who she is, what she was thinking at the moment she was thinking, and her deepest concerns, her deepest thoughts with God, and most importantly, what God said back to her. You know, the, the, the longest relationship that we are involved with, catch this, is with the word. The Bible says the word was in the beginning. And it was in the beginning of all existence. The word extends to the ends of the earth and throughout eternity. The word as we know is, is the creative concept, the thoughts and the meditations of God Almighty, and he personified those thoughts through Jesus Christ. You see, a, a relationship that we have, a relationship that God has, or any relationship is a relationship, it goes Two ways. It's the way people are connected. And it's the way that people behave to one another. We have been connected with God and his creative thoughts long before we got here. We've been created and, and thought about and meditated upon long before any county birth certificate or any state record of birth. In my text tonight, in the text tonight, I want you to draw attention to Jeremiah. Very familiar. First chapter, fifth verse. And I'm reading. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. And I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Jeremiah, in spite of his reserved nature, was called and commissioned to proclaim a message to Judah. This message would come to say that you would be destroyed by enemies that would be coming from the north. 
this message just didn't start there. Jeremiah said this message went across kingdomships. What do you mean? The message came to Jeremiah during the time of Josiah. Josiah was the last really good king in that term. And the message continued on from Josiah to Jehoiakim, which was not a good king. What are you saying, Elder? The, well, messages and words from God comes and flows through good times and bad times. But you got to know that God is talking to us always. This word from the Lord had come to Jeremiah more than once, uh, more than twice, and it was a task that would be difficult for him. God carefully spoke words to assure him of first, he was the choice. And two, he spoke to him to say, I'm supporting you all the way through. Except God in his messaging didn't fill out all the details. And we know, we know, we know, we know that God doesn't always tell us everything. But he tells us what he wants. Let's talk. Have you ever heard it said of someone that he didn't turn out or she didn't turn out like I thought they should have? The truth is that we are only as good as our interactions and our relationships to the word of God. What are you saying, Elder? Regardless to if you're successful or if you are a gross underachiever, you, you are only as good as your relationship is to the word of God. The word of God tells you how to and, and why to and when to and where to. The word of God tells you that who you are and what you should be doing and how you should do it. God's word is there forever for instructions and for corrections. This word I'm talking about didn't come from someone else's understanding of what they thought you should be. Because it's God that plans our lives. And it's God that thinks about us. You see in our message tonight that it was God that thought of Jeremiah and what Jeremiah would be and how he would be long before he got there. Isaiah says it best. Isaiah says this, for my thought, that means God's thoughts are not your thoughts. Neither are your ways my ways said the Lord, for as heaven is higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than yours, and my thoughts are higher than your thoughts. Point number one, we have an assignment for our lives even before the flesh. Bible said, Jeremiah says that he was quoting what had happened to him, said, God told him, I talked to you long before you were in your mother's womb. I had a thought about you. I had, I, I had a meditation about you. I had a determination about you long before you entered into this fleshly body. Before, before in the, in the terms of the Hebrew wording means to rim. And it means to, to interrupt. It means to suspend. It means to say, not yet. Or it means before you go, I've been there. Before you entered into the world that will tell you who you are, where you are, a culture that will marginalize you and tell you who you are and what you are, a place that will come before you face racism and injustices fueled by somebody else's hatred and an attempt to define who you are, I, the word, the Lord God said, I interrupted that and said, not yet. That's a non occurrence in your life, and it don't apply to you. Be assured and fully persuaded in your heart. Know 
weapon formed against you will prosper. Just have faith in the word because without the word, it's impossible to please and satisfy what I've already thought about you and what I intend for you to do. God said, I put a spirit of expectation in your life before you even became in the flesh or in the womb. Point number two. God says to Jeremiah, I knew you and made a way for you. We get caught up on how the particular is going to happen in life and which way that should I go. We get caught up on how difficult or how uh, uh, hard some things can be, but the Bible said, I knew you. Listen, listen, this, this Hebrew word knew means that it, it, it says yada. And it means that I recognized you. Not only did I recognize, I validated your care. I validated your life and I certified you as qualified to do what I'm calling you to do before you even get here. And I've watched you with close observation how to get it done. In other words, this applies that God knew your and my destination and path that we would follow. He knew the advice that we would receive and the answers that he would give us. He knew all of the concerns in our minds and in our hearts that he, God, would provide. He, he knew how and gave us discernment so that we would know who the people and, and to do that good and perfect will of God. He knew and he gave to us what it was to discover, what things we would discover, what things we would search through, what things we would try to find the meaning or purpose. He knew before he even brought us into the flesh while we were doing what we were doing and trying to validate our lives. He said, I've already validated you. I knew, I knew that you would search for the conclusion of the whole matter. And I knew that you would grow up to fear God and to keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. He said, I, I knew your friendships. <laughs> I knew your kinsmanship. I knew your kinfolk. I knew what you would give. I knew what you would sow. And I knew what you would reap. I knew your ups and I knew your downs. I knew how you would regard me as your Jehovah Jireh. I knew you, how you would respect me. I knew before you came into this world what I expected you. And God said he is the only one that can get to your expected end. I knew what I would teach you. And I knew what I would use and who I would use to bring you with understanding. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. He, he knew that we would run into to Bishop Dudley. He, he knew that we, we would have a man of God that would speak into our lives. I, I knew you in your sickness. And, and I knew you when you were healed. I, I knew you before you got sick. I knew I was going to heal you. I knew you when your cupboards would be bad. And I knew when you would have no other thought but to give up. And I would say to you, press on. Because I am the provider. So I die with you. I am the Lord God Almighty. The creator of Israel. Who makes a way through the sea and through the path, and through the mighty waters. God, listen, listen to it. God says, before you were flesh, before you were in the womb, I knew you, and I made a way for you. I want you to know tonight, church, that you don't have to worry if the door is going to be open. You just got to keep going toward the door. 
You ain't got to worry if God is going to take care of your need. You just got to keep going. The word of God said, I thought about all of this before you got started. You just have to live. He knew everything that was going to happen in 2023 before 2023 got here. And it just didn't start in 2022. He knew before all of this where he would take us. Point number three. He said, I sanctified you. The Hebrew word for sanctified is Kodesh. And depending on the context, it means holy or consecrated or dedicated or set apart. It speaks to the distinction and the differences where the thing that we're describing is different and distinguishable from anything else. Well, in the rawest sense of the term, Kaddish describes God. Who is like the Lord? No, nobody. Not one. The songwriter said that I searched high and low. And I looked over to see if I could find, and I found no one like you. He's different. Oh, I, our God is different. He's, he's consecrated and he's holy. And if God is holy, he's holy all by himself. You see, the term holiness belongs to God. In Leviticus, the 20th chapter, 7 through the 8th, he says, consecrate yourself, therefore, and be holy. I am the Lord your God. You shall keep my statutes and perform them. I am the Lord. Listen, I, you will keep them and perform them. I am the Lord who sanctifies you. I've already set you up. You are the one that will keep and perform. I want you to hear this. How can we be holy if God alone is holy? The only way that we can be holy is that God makes us that way. Here it is. God asks us to do something or to be something that we ourselves couldn't make of ourselves. He said, I sanctified you to be used by me, but I'm the only one that can get you to where I need you to get to make sure that that happens. He handpicked us and he separated us. He made us distinct and different from everyone else to be used by him and him alone. He did this before he put you in the womb. So listen, you need to tell those thoughts that says that you can't and won't and you ain't. You need to get all that negativity that's been touch tormenting you and pushing you other directions you need to get rid of your fleshly thoughts and say get your hands off of me because God Almighty has made it so that I will succeed we wrap wrap this up he says also that to Jeremiah I ordain you I ordained you, I called you, I gave you everything that you need to do the ascribed work that I put in your hands to do. And you'll do it without failure. Psalm 
St. John, the first chapter. Verse 1 and 2 says it the best. In the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. Our lives have been made and hidden in the Word. And now this word that we're living is bringing to light who we are. There's no, there's no haphazard events or uh, 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 secondary schemes that you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. I can tell you that if you are going deeper as the word is for our year, if you are going deeper, God has already put you on a path. You just need to go deeper into where he wants you to go. There is a concern that he has for you. There is a journey that he's already hewn out for you. There is a path that he's already made for you. There is a desired end that he already has for you. But he needs you to go deeper to identify where it is that he's taking you. What are you saying, Elder? The, I'm saying that there is nothing that you can do that he hasn't already begun in you. And he that had begun a good work in you, yeah, he's able to take it forward and to complete it. You were born for this. Don't worry about the details that you think you've got to work out. Because those details continually means that you're walking in the flesh. I'm trying to get what my flesh think I need. I'm trying to get what I think I think I need. The Bible says walk in the spirit. And you don't have to settle for the underachieving desires of the flesh. The flesh is an underachiever. It's way below what God was thinking about you. The God that we know and serve has given us an opportunity to go deeper this year. To heighten our desires to strengthen our cords, to lengthen our scope, to soften our hearts. And I'll do it all through the word. And if you hold fast to your profession and confession of faith, bring it to pass. Thus says the Lord. Don't live this year chasing fleshly desires. Live by walking in the spirit. I'm going to say this and then I'm done. Watching a little grandson take his first steps. And we all celebrate it. Oh, he's taking his first steps. A month later, we were all saying, no. No, no. No, don't do this. No, don't do that. Research says about 400 times a day a child hears no. If you go deeper in God, those no's will become yes. And what you can do is greater than what they say you can't do. But you got to take those steps to go deeper. I'm here tonight to tell you that there are ways that you can join us in going deeper. If you haven't, 
Today is time to start. It was easy. It was easy as ABC. You just ask and you confess and you believe. So we're asking you tonight that you would give your heart to God. Give your life to God. That you don't be, be an underachiever. But that you would achieve everything that the God Almighty has purpose for you to achieve. We asking you to stay tuned and work with us all month long. Now this prepares words of God to take us deeper. Join us next Wednesday as you hear a continuations of what it is to go deeper by evangelists that are coming, our own elders. I ask that you do this in Jesus' name. Amen. Happy New Year, Life Changers and Guests. I am here to give you your 411 so you know what's happening here at New Life. Ladies, we are kicking off going deeper in 2023 with a throwback to 2019, and Fire Friday is back. First Lady has a word for us to set your year in motion. Don't miss it Friday, January 20th at 7 p.m. right here in the sanctuary. Can you believe it? We are 20 years old. In January, every Sunday is Can't Miss Sunday. Let's fill God's house all January. Our fasting and devotion guide is out. Stop by the lobby or scan the QR code to get the download. Every Tuesday is an absolute fast day that we break at 7.15 a.m. prayer Wednesday morning. We are going deeper. Wednesdays, each church revival is featuring our own elders ready to speak into your lives. 7 p.m. from wherever you are, you can get a word in Worship Encounter. Don't miss it. Hey, singles! Guess what? You are invited to Want to Wholeness New Life Singles Ministry 2023 kickoff event. Join our Grown Folk Fellowship and Meetup at the Dogwood Social House January 28th. Stop in the lobby to sign up for more details on what and join the planning team. Join us for the MLK Annual Community Breakfast sponsored by O'Fallon Metro East NAACP. Monday, January 16th from 8 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. Tickets are $20 and it's happening right here at New Life. The keynote speaker is Bishop G. Vincent Dudley Sr. Executing the dream. Get your tickets online. High school seniors, the New Life scholarship applications are available at the front desk as well as your guidance office at your schools. Over the past 20 years, we have awarded more than $300,000. You could be the one this year. Apply today. We are also hiring here at New Life. If you or someone you know are interested in the positions listed, please contact Elder Vivian Moore. Life group registration for the spring is open now. We have some amazing groups to choose from. Scan the QR code or stop in the lobby for the catalog and quick form. Parents. Did you know we have Kids Rock and Teen City available for you on first and third Sundays? Additionally, the next Awana session starts at the end of this month. Register your child today. Teen City parents, the teens are serving in ministry on second and fourth Sundays. Make sure that they are actively engaged all month. For those who are new worshiping with us for the first, second, or third time, let us know you're here one in three ways. Scan the QR code and click connection card or complete the go card in the sanctuary or text welcome 689 to 71441. That's welcome 689 to 71441. Now you're all caught up. Thank you so much.